Welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. Fundraising efforts are underway to help bring the bodies of two Australian women home. Bianca Jones and Holly Bowles are among six foreign tourists to have died of suspected methanol poisoning in Laos. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has told Parliament Australia has offered to help investigate what led to the deaths. Our officials are working closely with Bianca and Holly's families to bring them home. The Foreign Minister has been in direct contact with her Thai and Laos counterparts. Minister Wong has underscored our expectation that the investigations are thorough and transparent. The Greens will help pass the federal government's housing policy after being criticised for putting obstacles in the way. The help to buy and build to rent legislation aims to get more first home buyers into the market and boost construction of rental properties. Greens leader Adam Bant says the policy still doesn't go far enough, but they'll back it in for now. We'll wave through Labor's housing bills uh, when it comes to Parliament and we will uh, push now at the election uh, where we'll take the fight up to keep Peter Dutton out and push Labor in minority parliament. Underworld drug lord Tony Mockbell is a step closer to freedom due to the notorious Lawyer X case. A judge has found Victoria Police took part in a joint criminal enterprise to pervert the course of justice when they used barrister-turned-informer Nicola Gobbo to bring down her client. Mockbell's case is now bound for the Court of Appeal, which will ultimately decide whether to quash or uphold his drug trafficking convictions. Tech companies will be forced to destroy any data used for age verification under proposed laws banning kids under 16 from social media. An inquiry is investigating how the proposal could be implemented, along with any potential consequences. Andrew Irwin from the Communications Department has told the hearing companies will only be allowed to retain very limited information. The outcome of the data is a binary, are you over 16? Yes, Mm. no. Yep. So they would still have the outcome of the data just to that question, not who you are, where you're from, your exact age. They don't care if you're 45, 35, just are you 16, yes or no. Police believe they've dismantled a cross-border criminal syndicate responsible for the large-scale movement of drugs from New South Wales to WA. And more than 1,300 Aussie businesses went bust in October, marking the highest number of business insolvencies in a single month on record. Figures from ASIC show construction and hospitality were among the sector's hardest hit due to high material costs and skill shortages. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Australia's most successful Olympian, swimmer Emma McKeon, is hanging up her goggles, retiring from all competition. The 30-year-old retires with a record 14 medals, including six Olympic gold. Elvis Smiley has come out on top in his battle with Cameron Smith for the Australian PGA Championship, the 22-year-old finishing two shots clear at Royal Queensland for his second professional victory. And Liverpool has extended its lead in the EPL to eight points with a 3-2 win at Southampton. In entertainment news, Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban may be planning to call Australia home once more. The Aussie stars are reportedly considering a permanent move back to Australia following the death of Nicole's mum once Keith's Las Vegas residency winds up in February. Wicked has smashed its closest rival in its opening weekend in the US box office. Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo's big screen smash hit raking in a whopping $114 million dollars compared to the $55 million in ticket sales for Gladiator 2. And each of the seven members of K-pop group BTS have now proven themselves to be successful solo artists. All band members have now individually scored a top 10 album on the Billboard 200 with their solo projects. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. Tomorrow.